Win as one. EA Sports FIFA 21. Sponsors Saturday Social. Mikel, in front of me I have some of the most searched questions about Mikel Arteta on the internet. I've picked the best ones, we're going to attempt to answer some of them now. Are you looking forward to this? Yeah, let's go. OK, first one. Who did Mikel Arteta support as a kid? Barcelona. That was the dream team era under Johan Cruyff and uh, they played some fantastic football and I fell in love with, with Barca. And of course you ended up going there, yes. uh, playing for Barcelona B and being in that setup, supporting the team and then end up being in that environment. What was that like as a it young kid? It was my dream as a kid. Uh, I could not pick any other club uh, to join as a young kid. Um, and after the formation that, and the development that they provided for me it was crucial in my career. OK, next one. Does Mikel Arteta speak Portuguese? Yes. You do. Now, we could do the whole feature on languages that you speak, because also in the search term was, does Mikel Arteta speak uh, Italian was there, Basque? So how many languages can you speak? Six or seven. Six or seven? Go on, can you reveal? And Scottish. And Scottish. I can see Scottish as well. <laughs> OK. Can you reveal all the languages that you speak, please? So it's Basque. Yeah. Uh, that's from my region in Spain, yeah. Basque country. Obviously, Spanish, English. Um, French because I played in PSG, PSG and I had to learn it. Portuguese because uh, I had some Portuguese speakers um, through my career that they become really close friends and I build relationships and you need a language in order to do that. So I was very interested in that. Italian because I love the culture, I love the language and I put effort uh, to do that. And uh, I don't know if I'm missing one of them. Catalan, Catalan, Catalan as well. well, because obviously when I was in Barcelona, yeah. I used to go to school there and, and everything was on Catalan, so I had to learn it. That is amazing to hear just how many languages you can speak. What was the most difficult to learn, would you say? I would say probably English, because uh, the way I did it is when I moved to Rangers, and you know, Scotland is, <laughs> is a challenge for that, but I had such a great time. I was really lucky with the people I had around the club, and and as well with the fans and everybody. It was worth it, if not, I could not express myself. It was, it was difficult the first few months to, to get it. I thought, okay, from the school, I was quite good at English. When I got there, I said, I, ha I don't have a clue. <laughs> so when you heard the Scottish language, you, did, you didn't have a clue? No, what no, said. it's impossible. But you understand it's it like, now. yeah, you can learn Spanish. I'd say you <laughs> south of Spain to Cadiz and you say, what is this? <laughs> Brilliant, okay. Uh, next one, how has Mikel Arteta changed Arsenal? Changed? No, I, I just try to to adapt the club a little bit for the necessities that we have at the moment and um, try to sell them my vision, um, the model that I wanted to implement at the club, the style of play that I defend and I believed in and after that try to convince all the staff here and the players to follow us in this journey and see what we get. And a big part of what you did, I remember watching your first press conference, was not just what you wanted to do on the pitch, but off it as well, talking about the, the positivity and you didn't want anyone with negative energy and, and the passion that was very important for you. Since then, we've heard Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang speak to Sky Sports News and say that you were the main reason, one of the main reasons why he decided to sign the contract. I spoke to William last week, who said you were the number one reason why he signed for Arsenal. So do you feel like you've already changed the culture and the philosophy at the football club? Well, I think change probably we have evolved the culture to my beliefs or the standards that we have to set at the club to change it. I think it has to be in a much longer periods. How we sustain that it has to be every day. I'm a big believer that the environment that we are able to create here around the club and what we are able to transmit to the outside, to our supporters, to the people that follow our football club is vital and in order to do that it has to be contributed daily by everybody at the football club and it's from the kid man to the people that here are cleaning serving food everybody that comes here has to have that feeling around our football club and i'm a big believer of that uh, does Mikel Arteta think pep guardiola is the best coach in the world yes i do you do yeah and working alongside him it was an incredible journey but behind the coach is the man that stands there. How he deals with every situation, how much he cares about the people uh, that works alongside him and the players and his genuine vision about the game. He was educated by Johan Cruyff, yeah. you can see that. But as well him uh, as a coach, how much he has evolved that style, how brave he is with his decision. And, uh, and the people that got around him to work and, and try to lead, inspire and, and develop 
what he has in his magnificent brain. His magnificent brain. Uh, you answered that question very quickly. So learning and being a part of Pep Guardiola's coaching staff for so long, how much do you look at his style and try and implement that with Arsenal? When you become a manager yourself, is it about influencing your own style on, on a set of players? Well, I think the education that you got obviously has a, a big impact or of you as a coach. And we had a pretty similar one in Barcelona, the way we were raised. So obviously it's a common share to start with. Um, after that, you have to adapt and evolve and be able to swim in different contexts. Um, and in order to do that, you have to recognize straight away the, the club needs, what the staff have been through as well, and what the players can take and cannot take. And in order to do that, it says good smell, good people around you to help you, and then I think your charisma to try to show your ideas and and try to implement it as quick as possible, generating belief on the players and enjoy. They play this game because they love this ball yeah. and everything around it. And if they play with a smile on their faces, that's the culture is really important to come here and be happy. They have to be, you know, yeah. attached of what they do on that pitch. Yeah. I think okay. it's really important. Uh, next one. Uh, did Mikel Arteta know Xavi Alonso as a kid? Yes, since we were probably seven or eight years old. Since that young, wow. Yeah, we played together in a club uh, that is from my region in San Sebastian and Siwoko yeah. that had a lot of players to be fair that they've been professional, they've done an amazing job. I was really lucky to be raised there as well. But with Xavi we played together, I think eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And then I went to Barcelona, he stayed in San Sebastian. Yeah. Then we were neighbours in Liverpool when he was playing for Liverpool, yeah, I was playing for, for Everton. So it's the beauties of, of this industry as well and this world. And didn't you just miss the chance to play with Real Sociedad with him? Because yes, he left because, when you signed, didn't he? Well, we did part of the pre-season together when I signed for Sociedad, yeah. but then he left and he went to did Real Did you ring him and say, what are you doing? This is our chance to yeah, play together. Yeah, I know, <laughs> but I knew. So by the time yeah. they signed me, obviously, I knew that uh, he was on his way. He was clearly a fantastic player. What a career he had. Did you always know at a very young age, when you said seven, eight years old, that he was going to go on to be someone special? Well, it's always really difficult uh, to know. Obviously, you could tell that he had something special. Yeah. But obviously to the level of excellence that he performed and won absolutely everything in football, it's, uh, it's magnificent and you just need much more than talent to achieve that. Yeah. Did Mikel Arteta play with Ronaldinho? Yes, I did. PSG, right? PSG. Was he someone that, because when we watched him play, he loves a trick, he loves, he's a very showboat, flair player. Was he like that in training all the time? More than that, I would say is the one player I've seen that can change a football club. Really? And he did it in Paris, yeah. and then he did it in Barcelona, when Barcelona had one of the worst periods in, in his history. And it's, again, his charisma, his way of being, his smiling, and, Always smiling, isn't and it? transmitting this incredible energy. And then as a player, every day in training, you could freak, is it? This guy is, is incredible. What is he doing? He needs to be already yeah. in Barcelona, Real Madrid. Is he one of the players that you wish was on your own team in training when yeah, he's against was, you? Like, oh, it was man. a joy and to play alongside him, I was 18, 90 years old, yeah. to play alongside him, it was, uh, it was magnificent. Best player you've ever played with in your career, yes, would you say? By yes, far, yes. Okay, uh, next one, bit random this one. Can Mikel Arteta play any musical instruments? Uh, flauta. How is the flute. The, the flute. Can you play the flute, can you? <laughs> when I was really young, you know, I started. And uh, now, obviously, I, I forgot a little bit, but uh, I will do that. But uh, always half year, I want to play the guitar. My kids are playing the piano, my yeah. kids play a little bit. But for me, it's the guitar. And, uh, you, so you want to play the guitar, I want to play, play, but I haven't had time to try to, to learn it. Or probably I had the time and I didn't <laughs> use it, probably. But uh, it's something that I would like to learn. Yeah, so why the flute? How come you learnt that? That's what I used to do at school. OK. Is there any chance, if we, I come back to Arsenal again, that we can film you playing the flute? What are the, what are the chances of that? <laughs> Not I, like that? I can try, but probably <laughs> a lot of musicians will get upset with me. OK. <laughs> Great answer. Is Mikel Arteta friends with Rafa Nadal? I wouldn't say friends, I know him okay. because I'm friends with uh, his coach, with Carlos Moya. Okay. Um, I spend quite a lot of time in Mallorca because we have a place there and I've always been a big admirer. Uh, yeah. When I was 14, 15, I had to decide whether I was a tennis player or a football professional player. Oh, wow. 
So tennis is a big passion of mine, and uh, and Rafa is one of my biggest idols. Yeah. Uh, so how good were you at tennis then? You said you had to make a decision. What, yeah. what level were you playing tennis at? Well, a really high level. So we're playing a competition all around Spain. I was champions in my region at 14, and then it was go to Barcelona to play football or go to Barcelona to the best academy that it was there as well for, for tennis. But What's football is right? much easier because yeah. when you lose tennis, you have to kill yeah. yourself. Yeah, there is all the, the coach, the <laughs> other team players well, that they are the not good enough. Yeah. It's uh, it's much easier. It's mentally a really demanding and tough sport. It's yeah. beautiful, but uh, I always like more the the groups and uh, yeah. and have, having the possibility to blame to blame others. You know, <laughs> if Rafa loses, he can't blame anyone, no. can he? Yeah, and, and he what, never does. And what a player he is! Uh, Unbelievable. What uh, what he's done for our country as well, all around the world, and the values that he represents as a as a key sportman figure in the world, it's uh, is the best thing that that we could aim for, I think. Lovely. Uh, next one. Who would play Mikel Arteta in a film? So would if you could I choose play? anyone, <laughs> any actor to play Mikel Arteta in a film. Well, you can be cool like James Bond or something like this, yeah. or I don't know. Probably a gangster. I think sometimes I am too nice. <laughs> Someone like a gangster, a little bit uh, okay. nasty. So, so I don't know. So I don't know who, who that would be. Because I've read a few articles, you're into your films, aren't you? Do, do yeah. you watch a lot of films? What, what, what sort of genre well, are you Well, now I don't see anything, to be fair. Right. Now I don't have time, and the time that I have, I spend it with my kids and, and my wife. But uh, I, wanna, I like series, but Peaky yeah. Blinders, I think it's, yeah, a, good, it? it's a brilliant one as well, yeah. you know, and uh, to know a little bit of history of what happened there, and I don't know. Is Mikel Arteta on Instagram? I am not directly, no. no. I am really bad with uh, with social, social media. media. Yeah, I'm not into that. Not a fan of it? It's not that I, I don't have fan. I, I don't use it. I don't like picturing myself or telling, giving my life away to, to okay. people that I, I don't know. Yeah. Um, everybody tells me, you have to be more, Miguel. People want to know like this. I'm pretty bad. My wife does a little bit for me. I have an agency does a little bit for me, but uh, as you can see, it's pretty basic and, <laughs> and flat. Okay, pretty basic and flat. Uh, next one, does Mikel Arteta dye his hair? No, but I think I have to very early because I'm having <laughs> a lot of white hairs here. <laughs> So I think that's probably coming soon, because if not, I'm going to have like my dad very white hair very soon. You've got a great head of hair now. Why do you think that is being searched? People want to know I think it's because hair. my head is so black um, <laughs> thing. It doesn't move yeah. much that people say it cannot be that black, yeah. you know. But if you come very close, you can see the, yeah, the white that, hairs. What is the secret to Mikel Arteta's hair regime then? How long do you spend on that in the mornings? No, I don't have to spend. It's uh, my mum and dad, they have good gents. <laughs> a strong hair, and uh, and that was it. I don't put much effort in in my hair to be fair. Okay, looks very good. Uh, finally, was Mikel Arteta eligible to play for England? Yes, you were. Tell us about that story. Well, I wasn't getting a call up uh, with Spain. Obviously, it was the best uh, probably generation yeah. of all times in in my position, and uh, I was long enough in England. The opportunity came up. It was Fabio Capello at the time, uh, the coach, and uh, we got a call that they wanted to to try to select me, but it was very tricky. Uh, there were a lot of norms and rules that uh, we have to go through, and, um, and at the end, we didn't do it. And how, how much would you have wanted that? Because obviously, you played for Spain at youth level, but never had the chance to play for the senior I team. was ready to do it. You, you would have wanted to yeah, play for I England. am so grateful for everything that this country has given me and my family. Uh, all the experiences that I have here, the best probably of my career, they've been here. So. If I could give something back uh, by representing the country, honestly, I was more than proud to do that. Brilliant. Uh, Mikhail, thank you very much for your time. Did you enjoy that? What was your favourite question out of all of them, would you say? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I have to respond uh, the proper way, the one with the actor. I, did, I don't the have actor. that one yet. That's Next fine, time I will do that. Gangster or bad man and then we play the, the flout. The flute. The flute. Mikhail, thank you very much for your time. Good luck for the rest of the season. Okay, thank you. Cheers.